I've said it, and I'll say it again. You got hosed. <laughs> Thank you. you. I appreciate that. That was your best performance. And if you go to YouTube and see all the performances of the night you were on, your video has almost 500,000 hits. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. It has more than my knockout, which aired you know weeks ago. Tell us how you're feeling. I'm at peace with it. Are I'm you? I'm, I am. You're probably dealing with better than most Central New Yorkers. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. My goal from the beginning was to be on, on the live shows and to be on live television and perform live with all these people, and I did. And had your best performance to date. I don't think I could have done anything differently to change anything. I think I did my the best that I could have done in the circumstances, and I don't regret anything. And we were talking off air as soon as they announced that America voted for Nick. Yeah, my I, heart I, sunk. I, I knew. I knew that at that point that I was like, well, it's been fun. <laughs> I think had you been on any other team, you would have just sailed right through and we would have been watching you last night. Probably. Yeah. And, but the only thing is Christina's team, I learned the most by far from her team. So I'm glad I was there. Now, you said you learned the most from Christina. What it, did she teach you? She was just really willing to, like, you know, give constructive musical criticism. And she had a lot of great ideas for how to build the song. And she made the, the environment really comfortable to work in. She just really was genuine and, and wanted us to succeed. Does she smell better than Adam? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we just see little blurbs on TV. How much time do you actually spend with them? 25 to a half an hour. Last time you were in studio, you said after The Voice, your plans were to move. What are your plans for the future? Well, I definitely am going to move. I love Central New York. But if I want to pursue music as a career, which I do, I, I've got to go somewhere so I, I think i'm gonna go to the west coast actually probably not la because i don't like big cities really but maybe like a suburb of la and also there are two types of people that watch the show i think there are the tv people that watch because it's a tv show and like you because you're on tv and then there are the people that like you because you're you that like music so you have like five maybe six months to capitalize on the exposure you've gotten with all of these people so i guess i'm just going to use my time as wisely as possible play college gigs, play local gigs, try to write as much material as I can and release something before the TV bubble bursts. And your family will still be here, so it's not like you're leaving central New York forever. Oh, God, no. No, absolutely not. No, I'll be back. I'll always come back. And you've obviously noticed that your gigs are getting a little bigger. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and your fans on social media have grown just a little bit. A little bit. You yeah. know how many Twitter followers I had before this? I think about 50. And you got now? 8,000. That's some growth now. That's some growth. It was your best performance, hands down, and you couldn't have made CNY more proud. That's all we heard on our Facebook page is win or lose, he'll always be a winner to us in central New York. Oh, thanks for telling me that. At least things happen <laughs> hey. for a reason. The way I'm looking at it is now I can pretty much pursue music however I want to as opposed exactly. to being locked yep. into the contract that you would receive if you won. So any plans for local concerts before you leave? I don't have any concerts booked right yet, but actually that's what I'm spending the rest of my day doing today is trying to figure out what I'm doing with shows. I'm actually going back for the finale. Yay! Yeah, I'm doing that, so I get to go back. Hopefully somebody that's in the Final Four will ask me to sing with them also that'd be really cool i can almost guarantee that allison porter will be in the final four i hope owen is too because he's my buddy so We're if you really could close. pick one person right now who's gonna win it who is going to win who it do or who think? do i want to win it i think allison's gonna win it yeah i like the underdog thing i kind of hope it's like a lathe or an owen well ryan best of luck thanks for coming in and we'll see you on the final show again. yeah do you know yeah. when that is i believe it's may 23rd and we'll stalk you on Facebook so that when we see your next shows that you're going to be out booking today, yeah. people can come see you in person and tell you how talented you really are. Well, thank you.